Okay. I have an outline of a list of what I'm doing. Okay. For those who don't know me, my name is Sherry King. And uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm trying to go to an eco village called Cinderland Eco Village. It is in Pahoa, Hawaii, which is on the Big Island. It's a sustainable living kind of uh, village. They're off the grid. And it's uh, 16 miles south of Hilo. Um, there, in order to stay there, you do some chores. You contribute with the community. Um, there is a uh, rent. They're about $50 a week. Um, where I am right now is I live in a single occupancy room that is uh, subsidized. It's, uh, it's a project-based kind of living. You, uh, basically it's to earn a Section 8 voucher, and there's no federal funding right now for Section 8, and it kind of, you know, it's, it's great to have a place to live. There's no kitchen, not even a kitchen facility. Uh, you get a mini fridge and a microwave when you move in. Um, it was furnished with a twin bed and a dresser. Um, I've gotten other small appliances so I could cook other stuff that doesn't do well in a microwave. <laughs> and it makes it expensive. And I throw out a lot of food because I don't have room or I forget <laughs> or it gets too like hot in here and like I've had bread mold really quick but anyways um I was homeless uh until I got here um I got here to Boston in uh July 13th 2011 um I was grieving my mom's death. She had passed away after a long struggle with uh, complications from a double lung transplant. Um, she'd had idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis and she got the transplant, but um, about a year and a half afterwards, she kind of just became sick and kept going into the hospital with pneumonia. Um, if there was something causing the pneumonia, by the time they cleared it up, they couldn't figure it out. And the last time she went in, she kind of gave up. I was her primary caregiver in this time, and I was alone with her a lot. And anyone who has been a caregiver to someone in basically watching them die in front of you um, and not just when they pull the plug but just slowly watching someone die it's very traumatic um, so and on top of that I have depression I was diagnosed at 14 so you can imagine um, the kind of impact that has and then when you become homeless, you don't have time to grieve, so that kind of goes off, uh, gets put to the side. I have an older brother who's been struggling on his own and hasn't done well, but he's doing much better now. Um, and he needs to take care of himself, and I need to take care of me, and one of the things I want to do, and I've always wanted to do, was to live greener and off the grid is a great way um, I mean I want to go here I, I just want to go I want to get my hands dirty and, and 
garden. I want to grow my own vegetables and, and fruits and stuff. And, and that's, they grow, they have fruit trees there. But I want to, like, have my own little plot where I could grow my favorite vegetables because it's expensive there to eat. Um, but uh, I get disability. I qualified for it in 2012 because of my depression. Um, I mean, I've worked and I, I would love to go back to work one day, but I think I would go back as self-employed. Um, and if they have the same program as they have here in Massachusetts, which is a ticket to work program, where someone who is on SSDI could work part time, and you know you can to add to your income uh, without losing benefits, then I would totally do that. And when I say benefits, I'm talking about my SSD guy benefits. Um, so what do I need? And why am I doing a video and asking a lot of people who might know me in various social media outlets? Um, what I need is $2,000. <laughs> um, this is so that I can fly to Hawaii. Flying to Hawaii it's expensive is as much as going to Europe. Um, what I've seen in my, in my researching on different days um, in months and times of a year is with my timeline which I put at like September, October. It's kind of a good time. But anyways, it's about an average of $600 to fly out there. Um, but if I accomplish a lot of the things I need to accomplish before I move, it might be more. Um, and uh, I need to ship boxes out there. And to go back, backtrack a little bit to where I live, um, it's not a traditional housing situation, uh, meaning uh, I'm not locked into a lease that would have a penalty. Because I think that knowing that, will, I'm sure, is a good way to reassure some people. Um, as long as I give 30 days notice and I clean my room to perfection, <laughs> as clean as it was when I got here, um, I will get my security deposit back. So, gives you something to think about. Um... So yeah, basically, all I'm, and I'm asking a lot for people to help me fund a tr my move to Hawaii, is $2,000, uh, donations of $5 is better than someone saying, well, nothing, and not wanting to do it, or, or feeling that their contribution isn't great. I mean, I have a lot of Twitter followers and I said, well, if say it's 300 so-and-so, <laughs> um, were to donate $5, I would get to my goal. So, um, so like I said, $5 is if that's all you can give me and to help me move, then we can go there. Um, this is so awkward doing videos. So you know, that's why I had to do the list so I would kind of stay on a script, but kind of fell off at the end. But um, yeah, so got a GoFundMe page where you can donate to, um, and this will be posted there. 
there are a lot of things that I like. I mean, I'm going to be selling things. I got things that I'm not going to be able to take with me. And why would I need them? Um, so I'll be, like, selling things, too. So as, as I get closer, as I get closer to my goal, and as soon as I can buy my ticket, I'll be selling things. So... And discontinuing services or whatnot. Um, I mean, I've got. I I am so much better prepared this time, and I don't want people to think that this is just like some whimsical thing. I've put a lot of thought in this. I have researched for the resources that I need to treat my depression um, so when I get there I can get things started along with living a more sustainable life style um, less wasteful more healthy they have a yoga studio there I have wanted to do yoga, but it's expensive to, like, join a gym or, you know, like, I don't know. There's other excuses to come up with, but I really like the idea of living in a community with people who have different backgrounds and some common beliefs and not so common beliefs and just uh, I just really want to do this and I hope you can help me. Thanks.